Chris D. Cunningham and welcome to the ninth annual Panorama Festival in Virginia Beach. at the competition right now on the beach itself and soon we'll be watching Cafe run by Miss Lorna Green. Academy was founded in 1996 in my basement and uh, we started off with 16 kids and uh, we just wanted to do a summer program and it evolved into this Saturday Academy where we use the, the pan to now help with academics and that's where we are today. Cafe been participating in the Panorama? We've been here, coming here for five years. The first two years we won back to back and then we couldn't make it for the third year and then we came back last year and this year we're back again. stage. This is your first panorama, right? Yes. How was it? Yeah. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Were you guys looking forward to it? Yes. You guys are just going to answer me yes? yes? You guys weren't excited? Yes. You weren't excited? Yes. Really excited? Yes. How many panoramas have you been in so far? Are you excited about it? You guys, you guys think you can win this? Okay. One of the parents from the students from CAFE, this is Miss Castro. Um, how long has your son been in CAFE? He's been in CAFE for two years. 
What made you decide to put him in cafe? Outside of school. Did he want to start when he first began? Uh, when he started, he did not really want, he wanted to start, but sometimes, you know, I'll get, oh, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. But now, since he's entered and he knows a lot of the kids and he's become a good friend with them, he wants to come every day. And doing things like this makes him want to <laughs> stay in cafe even more. Johnson. Oh, how is Chris? How are you doing today? I'm terrific. To and be here with you today. <laughs> your son is in cafe as yes, well. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Osman, how how did you decide to have him begin cafe? Well, Osman went to a PV concert in Hyattsville, and he came home waving that flyer, and he said, "I gotta join. I gotta join." And guess what he said? I want to go to Virginia Beach next year. So he's here and he's playing. <laughs> So he actually wanted to, you didn't have to force him. Oh no, oh no, he'll do anything if, other than not go to cafe. Do you think he's had any doubts before? Never, never. <laughs> no, he loves it. You think they have this competition wrapped up today? Oh, I know they do, on all sides. Performance, all right, presentation, musical ability, move and move enthusiasm. It. They're ready. Right now, I They're gonna take it home. Okay. The goal. <laughs> who is in charge of the wonderful band that just went with our little ones <laughs> from cafe. Now Belinda, was it hard to teach little ones? It was a different experience teaching them versus teaching the, um, the intermediate band or the advanced band. You know, you had to deal with discipline and they want to touch this and they want to touch that. But eventually they got into it and they were able to learn their music pretty easily. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did very much. They're my babies and I love them so much. They did such a good job today. Do you feel any of them enjoy themselves all the time? Yes, they do. I have a couple who are some show-offs and they love to dance and carry on and stuff. And I love them. How do you think they felt about the um, competition today? I think they felt pretty good. They came off the stage dancing, so that was a good sign, and, you know. And I actually had a student who said she was kind of scared to go on, but after she got on, up on stage, she said she was fine. She wasn't scared anymore. that we just saw perform on stage. 
Now tell me, fellas, how was it running this wonderful, wonderful band? Amazing, amazing. Um, it's been amazing since we've been with the Rhythm Runners. Uh, we came, you know, last year we came here out of competition and we, we, pushed, we pushed our best. You know, we came second place, but we just came back this year, you know, with fire. And it's, it's always a joy to, you know, come to cafe and do the, do the, do the teach, this, teach these kids, you know. Has it, tell me about your, your road with these children. How has it been so well, far? Well, to be honest, it was a very rough road. Woo. You know, we, what happens is, after we get done with this competition, all of our best players get to try out for the advanced band. Yeah. So we lose our stars every year. So it's like it's like every year we starting back over from scratch, you know. So this year we were we were blessed to have uh, you know a lot of students that were ready to take their talents to the next level. You know we have uh, people who were still in the band from last year, like Carl and, uh, Nia. and uh, yeah Nia yeah. and them. They're just stepping up their level and, yeah. and bringing all the new ones under their wing and. Just, yeah, it's, yeah, man, yeah, it's, we, it's, we pull it, it out. It's great because a lot of the kids who are in the advanced band now are like, yo, I want to go back, you know, learn that song that you're learning in intermediate. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's, 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 just, it's just a great experience, you know, working with these kids. Okay. How, do you, how, do, how long does it take for these children, the newer ones, to get to this? To this? Nine months. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, and we they, still ain't done. And some of them were just learning how to play. And they are wonderful, yes, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. 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 That was the best we ever played. It. it was. I'm glad that we hit the peak right here at this competition. Yeah. How do you we all feel did. about the competition right now? How you feel? You, what do you think you are <laughs> well, ranked in this competition well, right well, now? Well, right now, the band that, that beat us last year is performing, right? And. I mean, so far nice. I haven't stopped the interview to hear them, so I don't know, <laughs> you know, so... Cockiness. <laughs> well, I, feel, I feel pretty good. That's, the, that's what I'm saying. Real good, real good. Real good. <laughs> Thank you.
Here we have Ethan and Alec, our two stars. This is our soloist, Ethan, and our Congo, play Congo player, Alec. So Ethan, how did you feel when you were up there on the stage and the spotlight was on you? I felt excited, I felt really good. How long have you been playing in cafe? I've been playing in cafe for at least one year. Okay, how long did it take you to get to that position in, in um, soloing? It's a few weeks. A few weeks? I practiced Who taught you how to do that? Um, he, he gave me some tricks. I looked up and Jeremy gave me some tips. Okay. And you, Alec? How long did it take you to learn how to play the congas like that? couple weeks and you guys were wonderful I have to stress you guys were wonderful how did you feel it when you were up there okay. did you feel scared before you got up there no because I came last year did you feel scared when you got up there Ethan yes. you were scared and you conquered the center pan yep, I did. <laughs> about cafe that you like so much? Well, I like the dedication to excellence. They focus on um, for making sure the children work hard in school, um, learning music, learning how to read and write. I mean, they're getting so much out of cafe, exposure, they travel, and it keeps them on a good path because all the kids reinforce all the good attributes that you would like in your children. Jesus said it all, but I also love the academics. I agree. I How agree. long have your children been in cafe? Mm, wow. Six, seven years. Seven years from third grade. She's 15, so I guess it's about the same thing. Seven years. Yeah, seven years. And you told me about it. I don't know. I, you told me about it. I'm not sure how we both, but we both got on board same about time. Seven years. And we love it. How do you all feel about the competition so far? Oh man, copy blowing them away. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. The kids, the musicality is like they're on a college level or something. I don't know. All I know is they're great. It was good. The beats and the, some of the, the little kids were doing solos. I mean, kids in middle school bongo drumming like they get going out of style. It was great.
Malika Coletta. So Malika, what is, what is your position with CAFE? Um, I'm currently the program developer and artistic director for the Cultural Academy for Excellence. Okay, what do you, what do, you do with that position? Um, I basically help the executive director um, make sure that everything is in line with the vision of the program. So I help with the programming, the curriculum development. I also do a lot of logistics, planning trips for students and um, talking to parents about what we offer. It's a, a position that I wear several different hats for, so I can't sum it up in you know a couple of seconds, but it's, it's fun. Have you been with CAFE since the beginning, or did you just jump onto this train? I have been with CAFE as an employee for the last four years, but CAFE was actually started by my mother 15 years ago. So I've been there since the beginning. You know, when you have a parent or a family member who starts their own business, everyone is involved. So, you know, when I was 15, I was helping do everything from make flyers or yes, I know. whatever, setting up for events to, you know, playing in the band. So. How do you how do you feel about this whole organization? Do you did you enjoy yourself while you were a part of it? Do you feel do you feel it could it grow get very much bigger? Yeah, absolutely. Um, cafe the unique thing about cafe is that um, we do steel paint which is, you know, a non-conventional instrument. So we have this small little nucleus of people who are playing this, you know, non-traditional instrument, and they're playing all this extraordinary music. So it's like we have this little cult, this special group, you know, that really has a, a special bond with each other. And um, it, CAFE was special for me because I'm, I'm a musician, so I went to school to study music, and so CAFE was a great outlet for me. I was able to arrange, you know, when I was in high school, and I was able to give my attention to the band, even at that age. And I wouldn't be able to say that, you know, about anything else, so. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank